Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So before we start today's video, I just wanna say hello to all my new subscribers. We've gotten to 100 and I'm so grateful for that, so thank you. Um, just a quick intro about me, my name's Imani and I love doing videos of hauls, makeups, and basically anything that I am into, like a full girly girl, I do love my sports and everything, so there are going to be videos coming to my channel that are about motocross, like me trying to learn how to do motocross, snowboarding, everything, so it's basically my channel is just my bubble and I'm letting you into my little world. If you like today's video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button so you never miss any more videos because next week is Vlogmas. I'm doing Vlogmas for the first time ever and I'm really excited so please make sure that you stick around so you get to see my first Vlogmas. Anyways, today's video is about my favourite items of this year and because I've tried a lot of new stuff and I've incorporated a lot of new things into my skincare and my makeup because truth be told I never was really into skincare I was quite lazy with that shocking now that I love skincare so I'm going to just show you the things that I use and all the makeup is practically what I'm wearing right now so you actually see what it looks like so I'm just going to show you my favourite skincare items and my favourite um, makeup. There's a few things that I don't have at the moment because I've run out and I don't really want to show you just an empty bottle so maybe I'll do like an updated skincare. Right so first of all let's go into skincare. So last year I actually suffered with adult acne. It came out of nowhere. I never really had the acne stage when I was a teenager so I guess it decided to come along when I was an adult. Um, so last year I had really bad breakouts and now my face is actually left with acne scars. So I'm trying loads of products to try and get rid of them. But I'm going to show you why you can't really see that many of them in the next part of the video. So with my skincare, obviously I wash my face and everything. And one of my products is um, St. Ives blemish control apricot scrub i know the apricot scrub and not a lot of people are fans of it just because it has got very big bits in it that do really get the stuff out of your pores and everything and some people think that it actually causes more tears to your face and causes more scarring but with me i absolutely love it because i actually feel like it's actually doing what it's meant to by taking out the makeup don't wear excessive makeup but i do wear makeup mainly five six days a week so i'd rather have this that actually is really deeply taking out the makeup in my skincare routine so i absolutely love this it it is helping um get rid of my scars as well another thing is the mario badescu whitening mask i do this once a week and you just leave it on I think for like 10 minutes and then it actually lightens your scarring and I've noticed a lot of improvement with my scars visibly from this so I highly recommend that. Another thing that helps with my scarring once I've washed my face done a detox mask I go in with the ordinary peeling solution and I do this about twice a week it is this red liquid and it is an acid so just be warned that it does sting at first a little bit but what it does is I find that if you have a breakout moment and say you've got an event coming up in a few days time I do my detox mask which is a clay mask and it just literally like freezes the spots or anything and then after I put this on and then it actually kills the spots and makes them disappear because I'm telling you the next day I wake up those blemishes are gone and then by the time you have your event you don't have those spots anymore so I really recommend this maybe before you put it all over your face do a little test patch on your skin just to make sure that you're not going to have a bad reaction to it because it is an acid so this has been part of my skincare routine to get rid of my scarring and I really do recommend it. So it's a 10 minute a ten minute exfoliating facial peel. Um, yeah, like I, this is the 
this is the only one that I've bought and I've done this so many times that I'm not even halfway through the actual bottle yet so it is not even that expensive and now you can buy the ordinary products in boots as well so if you don't have to just buy it online at beauty bay you can just pop into boots and pick this up one of my favorite sheet masks you can buy in the shops is this garnier one you may have seen this in my um favorite sheet masks video i'll put a link down below and maybe a card as well and this is the vitamin c fresh mask fresh mix tissue mask and it's meant to brighten your skin and i mean it brightens your skin it's so lovely once you've done this your face feels so nice and smooth and so bright it is amazing and then not even expensive like you can always like pick these up in the sale for two pounds and i think full price they're four pounds and i think they're four pounds but you, i've picked this up in the sale for two pound many times and i still see them in the sale so highly recommend this one toners at the moment i mix between toners i have a mario badescu toner which i love but i'm gonna buy again but obviously i'm waiting for black friday beauty bay sales so stay tuned for that haul video um and then another one that i use is by boots botanics they're a really good toner because they actually have a brighten toner actually like makes your face look glowy and then for like day to day i just use the garnier miscellanea um water there is an oil based one which i'm going to pick up when i go next into town so i will show you that one once i get it maybe in a little haul i don't know so this one is really nice it does remove your makeup so quickly and takes out all the excess and it's not even expensive like this little size bottle which is a 125 ml you can pick these up for a pound in like boots super drugs or in the shops they're always on sale as well i think the big bottle is like five pounds so perfect little travel size this is what i took away on holiday with me when i went to thailand perfect my favorite makeup wipes are always the simple brand i absolutely love them these are the cleanses and instantly hydrates these are my favorite i tried the exfoliating ones when i did my black friday haul last year because i got like this massive box of seven for like i think three pounds in the black friday sales I prefer this packet over the exfoliating ones they were a bit too harsh and I already exfoliate in my skincare anyway, so I just got with the standard ones. My favourite moisturiser at the moment has to be um, from L'Oreal and it is the Collagen Moisturiser. This was on sale for half price one day and I've never seen it on sale again, which is really sad. But this thing, I thought I'll just try it because... Obviously, everyone says that you should get like moisturizers with collagen in to like once you get older, you lose your collagen. I'm 30 next year, so I don't really want to start getting wrinkles or anything. Um, so I picked up this collagen mask and I've been using it for I think three weeks now, and I'm telling you, I've seen the difference in this because I was getting little obviously laughter like wrinkles, like you know, little crow's feet here. I was getting them. I looked this morning when I was getting ready and I was like, where have they gone? This baby, I'm telling you, it is amazing. I am definitely buying this again and I've got quite a lot left, but I literally use it all over my face and on my neck as well because you've got to start looking after your skin. If you don't like skincare at the moment and you are like me where I literally hate oily things on my face like even a thought of like washing my face with soap really bugged me i went all through my teens of just using and this really cringes me out now um just using facial wipes that was it no toner nothing unless my mum who was studying beauty therapy did a facial like testing out stuff on me I didn't do any skincare. I hated skincare. And now I'm older, I'm like, wow, I'm glad. In the last, I would say, three years. So when I was 26, I think. So yeah, so when I was 26, I started actually caring about skincare. 
so please make sure you do skincare because trust me it is such a vital thing as soon as you start getting into skincare the better and your face will love you for it please start doing it so this i highly recommend it is wonders and um, i think full price is only seven pound but i got it i think i actually got it for like three pound it was a crazy sale and i just picked it up on my lunch break so like, moving on to hair care and my favorite things in hair care has to be the aussie range in shampoo and hair conditioner i have struggled over the years trying to find the perfect shampoo brand that was perfect for my hair type because i am mixed race i have got you know how you get combination skin i swear i have got combination hair because my hair is obviously I've straightened it now like isn't tight curls or anything my hair is that awkward half straight half curls there is no in between there is no like oh if it's washed it will look good for the first day and then after that horrible doesn't work you either have to keep maintaining it curly which is hard work or straighten it and this is why i wear my hair straight and then i have the option of curling it easy so trying to find a hair brand that didn't make my hair dry afterwards which is really interesting how many brands did do that for my hair type but as soon as I found the Aussie range a few years ago, say like five years ago, never gone back or gone with anyone else. Aussie range is my favourite and the perfect one is Calm the Frizz for my hairstyle. So I have Calm the Frizz shampoo and Calm the Frizz conditioner and they smell amazing. And I literally, high, I highly recommend these if you have frizzy hair because i have so many steps after i wash my hair to straighten it and get rid of the frizz that just starting off with these two makes it so much easier because i've gone with a different aussie product and it's you notice a difference when you don't use the frizz one so these are my favorite you can always pick these up for like two for i think like two for five or two for seven pound they're always on special so highly recommend these next thing if you have a damaged hair or if you dye it a lot like i mistakenly dyed my hair blonde by myself it would have been a perfect video for youtube but yeah yeah no it was bad it was a hot mess i quickly went to asda and re-dyed it brown stupidity on my part so never again now my hair is all dark it did take a lot of time to get back to a healthy state after I bleached it. But this product here, if you dye your hair a lot or you just get breakage a lot, I highly recommend this. This product saved your hair with even just one time using it because it is so silky soft afterwards you're just like why have i never found this before so whenever i see these on special i think they're like a pound for this you need to get it highly recommend it is the palmer's coconut oil deep conditioning protein pack and it is for dry damaged or color treated hair so it's literally just the cocoa butter but for your hair and i'm telling you amazing so this is definitely a must in your bathroom products right moving on to makeup so everything that i'm going to show you now is what is on my face today um so with that and this is natural light there's no ring light or anything this is natural light so i'm hoping that my makeup my makeup does look good <laughs> let's get into it so with my foundation and as I was saying earlier about my scars, this foundation is amazing because it covers your scars and marks and dark eyes when you're having those days because tell you, I'm telling you, that when I'm dead tired and having to go to work, this foundation literally makes my bags under my eyes disappear and look presentable for the day so the makeup 
revolution foundation amazing conceal and define amazing so my shade is f11 and is literally amazing and i actually used f9 for concealer because at one point i bought f9 thinking it was my shade wasn't had two bottles of it but it was my shade for concealer so i was just like win-win so i used these both together i used the concealer for under my eyes and to carve out my eyebrows and it is literally a full coverage i recommend these these are nine pound and this foundation literally as soon as you put it on i don't feel it for the rest of the day i forget that it's there literally full coverage but it feels lightweight it takes a lot for me to change this foundation let's just say moving on to setting powder it is my maybelline fit me poreless powder i literally abuse this i need to go buy another one today because it's just run out like i literally buy one every month just crazy so my shade is 220 this is amazing it literally is poreless starting off with primer i've tried so many primers last week when i went up in my weekend vlog um i actually bought this because i've seen so many reviews about it jeffrey star said he loved it um so i thought why not give this a go because when i tried to order it before it was sold out everywhere and then i saw it was in stock in the shop and i was like i'm just gonna pick it up because why not so it's the elf poreless putty primer and i've been using this for um i've been using this for a week now and i'm telling you i love it already it's eight pound amazing definitely pick this up to try because you would love it just as much my ultimate favorite primer is my benefit pore professional but i don't have any more of that and i feel that's like 25 pound to buy this is eight pound and it does just as well so definitely try that one out moving on to eyeshadow palettes my favorites are the morphe artistry palette 35b you will see that there's a few eyeshadow looks on my channel that are with this palette and there will be a few more coming up and the be perfect carnival palette with collaboration with stacy marie this is such a good palette i love the colors in this palette they are amazing so definitely recommend you trying out this palette and here are the colors in the morphe so pretty so amazing my favorite bronzer at the moment is my milani um pecan bronzer and i'm telling you i bought this ages ago and i only started hitting pan the other day it has lasted so long i'm definitely going to buy it again but i don't know when i'll need to because it's lasting so long and the actual expiry date on this is 24 months after opening like I, I i can actually probably believe that it last 24 months i'm pretty sure i bought this at the start of the year highlighters now we have two revolution products we have the revolution liquid highlighter which i put down as a base and then i put over a powder and this is the ultra pro glow palette and you can tell which one is my favorite because i've hit pan on it and i've literally just got the edges left I don't know what shade that is the liquid highlighter it is liquid luminous gold but these two together perfect combination for blush I am still testing out what blushes I like but what I'm wearing today is um, the blush queen by George and it is a cheap simple blush very pigmented just warning you so you literally need to tap a little bit and put it on but so the one that I've got is coral crush and it's lovely moving on to eyeliner i love doing my little wings and this one is the Artitech slim eyeliner by la splash love this eyeliner haven't found a better pen eyeliner so i recommend this one and um, like i first came across it last year in my um black friday haul so I definitely recommend this because I've used about three since then and they're not even that expensive I get mine from Beauty Bay so definitely check that out mascara 
this mascara is a game changer because I'm not one, like I love false eyelashes, but I don't wear them on a day-to-day -day basis. I only wear them if I'm doing like a glam video or if I'm going out to like an actual proper event, not like going out for dinner or anything, like going out to a proper event, I'll wear them. So I like to have long eyelashes, but without having false eyelashes on. Once I got this a couple of weeks ago, I've noticed how much my eyelashes look so long and so fluffy like they've got false eyelashes on and this is the Maybelline Last Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara and literally amazing. There's actually going to be a video on my channel coming up maybe this week or next week that is a review about this and showing you how it works and like the difference between my lashes without and with this so Stay tuned for that. The last product I have is an ultimate favourite setting spray. I've tried so many setting sprays, but I always come back to this one because it, one, it lasts all day, and two, it makes your makeup stand out. And this one is Revolution Glow Fix. So this is illuminating fixing spray, and it's got little bits in it that make your um, makeup stand out. So like the highlighter, you see that? It literally just makes it pop so this is literally not even that expensive so I highly recommend <laughs> it's my neighbor walking by so this one is literally not even that expensive so I highly recommend you picking this up so I hope you liked today's video if you did then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so if you want to see any of these other products that I've shown you in a review video just about them itself then please comment down below and I hope to see you in the next video. So till next time guys, bye.